So we're in Ecclesiastes chapter 11, and I'm telling you what, it gets so pointed, it gets so strong. And, you know, the last three chapters of Ecclesiastes is these exhortations. Uh, Chapter 10 is about being sensible, and chapter 11 is about being joyfully bold, and chapter 12 is about being godly. And this is all based on chapters 1 through 9 that were just telling us over and over again, we're not in control. We can't figure this out. We are dependent on God. Only God knows. Only God saves. Only God satisfies. And now we get to chapter 11. And chapter 11, it's going to focus in on six verses. And this is going to be in preview of Sunday morning. So I'm not going to give it all away ahead of time, uh, but I'm going to say a few things, okay? Let me read it first. Ecclesiastes 11, verses 1 through 6. Cast your bread upon the waters, for you will find it after many days. Give a portion to seven or even eight. For you know not what disaster may happen on the earth. If the clouds are full of rain, they empty themselves on the earth. And if a tree falls to the south or to the north, in the place where the tree falls, there it will lie. He who observes the wind will not sow. He who regards the clouds will not reap. As you do not know the way the Spirit comes to the bones in the womb of a woman with child, so you do not know the work of God who makes everything. In the morning sow your seed, and at evening withhold not your hand. For you do not know which will prosper, this or that, or whether both alike will be good. There's so much packed in here, so much gospel goodness. I'm telling you, we'll bring this out on Sunday. But it's all about being joyfully bold. And these first six verses are just about boldness. And let me just give you just just a really small preview, okay? Small preview. It's about casting, verse one. It's about giving, verse 2, and it's about not knowing. Uh, You know not, verse 2. Verse 5, you do not know. Verse 6, you do not know. It's about what we do not know. It's about what God knows. And and I'll give you one more little hors d'oeuvre here. It's about faith. It's about faith in God Almighty, faith in a Redeemer, faith in Christ, I'm just going to pray for us that we will receive God's word this Sunday with joy and be bold in applying the truth. Lord, thank you for your grace to us. Thank you, Lord, for how good you are. Thank you for your word that is powerful. Thank you, Lord, that you are almighty. And thank you, Lord, uh, for the things you're teaching us and for the things we're learning on a daily basis, how better to trust you, how better to, to know that we don't know it all, but you do And therefore, we can live boldly with joy in your presence. And we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.